So hi everyone, I'm CMA, software testing engineer at the platform team. And I will give a quick update on what's happening on Moodle's testing and QA. Um, we have been focused on our usual continuous integration work, managing and resolving um, PHP unit and we had failures. Additionally, we have been actively converting our QA tests into automated tests, like it's an um, ongoing effort to improve the efficiency of our QA cycle. Uh, however, uh, the highlight for this uh, last sprint was uh, the behead performance improvements. Um, more specifically, we added a new um, data generator to manage role, roles and permissions in Moodle. And what this data generator does is it, it eliminates the need for manual steps, such login as admin, go to the def, define roles page, change the permissions and save changes. Uh, but that's not uh, part of the test. That's just to um, create the required data for the test. So um, yeah, that's that's how you, if you look in the left, and uh, that's how it was in the past. And now you we have a new data generator. Uh, so you simply add this to this test, and it will be a lot faster. Uh, we notice in some tests it reduced by minutes the execution time just with that change. Um, so we have added. Um, few other uh, data generators, but that, that's the one, uh, the most important one, uh, but we have been adding like several ones. Uh, and of course, if you, if you are working on your components and you come across a long and tedious test with lots of UI steps just to generate the required data uh, for the test, uh, so please report it on that MEGL and we will um, work on that, uh, prioritize it and work on that. And finally, I'd like to um, take the opportunity to share a quick tip for my fellow HQ developers. Um, probably some people know, some people don't, uh, that whenever you submit an MEGL for integration review or CI server, and has a job called Tobik that launches um, a build for each um, branch on that MGL. However, in some cases that the changes might be super localized or sometimes you are adding a new test or a new function with HP unit test. And is it's not required to run the whole switch. Sometimes you can just uh, run the Tobik uh, for that component and avoid that long execution running tests that are not uh, related to your changes. So if you run a Tobik, uh, we, I think we all, if you don't, please send me a message and I will send you the link. If you run, uh, if you launch a Tobik uh, build on the MEGL before submitting for integration, it will it won't uh, automatically launch this whole build in the uh, in the patch. Some cases it might make sense. Let's say you are changing a core function. It might make sense to um, run the whole suite, but most of the cases, like if you are changing something in forum or quiz or assignment, you can simply uh, run the tests on that module and uh, no need to run uh, the whole thing and that uh, will save uh, a lot of time and also resources in our CI server. And everybody will thank you because <laughs> yeah, you, we all get results faster. And yeah, that's all for now. Uh, thank you for all your attention.